Today I'm going to teach you how to play with your puppy. The first step is to find a toy that they like to play tug with. This toy can be handmade out of an old t-shirt or a towel, or you can buy it from the store. The next step is to get the puppy interested in the toy by making the toy move. Dogs love to chase things because it reminds them of chasing prey. If your dog doesn't chase the toy, then you're going to need to either build a flirt pole or buy one. A flirt pole is very easy to build. All you need is a toy or a rag, string or rope, and a stick or a pole to tie the rope to. Once you've built it, start moving around or even running around the yard with it. Let your puppy catch it frequently and play tug with them or let them chew on it. Once your puppy consistently plays with the flirt pole, you can then begin transitioning them to playing with a toy in your hand. You will still need to be very active when playing with them. You want to mimic the movement of the flirt pole as much as possible. If you find your puppy is giving up or losing interest when playing with you or the flirt pole, then it is because you have made the game too hard or too easy. If the puppy never gets to catch the toy and play with it, then it's not fun for them. But at the same time, if you make it too easy by letting them win all the time, then it's not fun anymore. Remember to have fun playing with your puppy and try not to overthink it. As long as you follow these basic guidelines of not making it too hard or too easy and making the game interesting,